Hello and welcome to The Peak TV. These are pediatric tips from St. Luke's. My name is Dr. Kelsey McLeod and I'm one of the pediatricians at St. Luke's University Health Network. On this edition, we're gonna be talking all about insect safety. Now, most insect bites and stings are not very serious, but sometimes people can have allergic reactions and sometimes they can spread diseases. So it's important to remember that if you're outside for prolonged periods, to use a repellent of 10 to 30% deep. Cover as much of the body as possible, noting that light colored clothing make ticks easier to spot and also make your child less of a target. Avoid being outside in the very late afternoon and very late evening. Check for ticks periodically, especially if in a high risk area. And make sure to definitely reach out to a provider if your child is exhibiting any fever, rash, joint pain, or GI upset. It's important to also be very careful at picnics because sweet foods and drinks can be an attraction for insects, so always keep food and trash covered. Also, try not to have large areas of standing water in your yard, such as what can be found in a bucket or a bird bath or even in a pond, because that can also be another attraction for mosquitoes to lay their eggs. And also, try to avoid the temptation to swat away at bees and wasps because that just makes them angry. Instead, try to stand still and they should go away. Nevertheless, if actually bitten or stung, such as by a mosquito, avoid scratching at the site because that can cause further irritation and lead to infection. Make sure you reach out to a provider if developing any signs of flu-like illness. If stung by a honeybee, don't pull the stinger out because there's a hook on the end. It'll just fall off on its own. If stung by a wasp or hornet, leave the area immediately because these insects like to sting repeatedly. Now, stings by bees, wasps, and hornets, all of them can feel hot and they can itch and they can create redness and swelling at the site. So gently cleanse and then apply some cold water or even ice. And lastly, if you're concerned about any serious allergic reactions, such as fever, hives, troubled breathing, or GI upset, immediately reach out to a provider or go straight to the emergency room. So there you have it. Thanks for joining. See you next time. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. To see more of The Peak TV, check out our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and catch us on WFMZ Channel 69.